Hello, I'm Dr. JC Lowen. I'm a clinical neuroscientist at Cognitive FX. Here today, we're going to talk about concussion, the timeline of what happens inside of the brain when someone receives what's called a mild traumatic brain injury, also called a concussion. Initially, what happens in a concussion is very simply the brain needs to shake inside of the skull. That's actually the definition of a concussion. That means that something can impact the head, causing movement forward or backward, side to side or up or down, or it can be caused by outside forces causing the neck to move in a whiplash type injury. Now inside of the skull, immediately upon the impact, there are a number dif of different things that happen to the cells of the brain. These cells are called neurons. Neurons, or these cells inside of the brain, allow the brain to signal, essentially. It allows you to move, to walk, through the propagation of these signals from neuron to neuron. These cells inside of the brain, neurons, are structured as shown in this figure. So you can see the cell body, the axon, and those little dendrites reaching out, which will connect it to the next neuron. Now, what happens when there is a concussion, that whole structure and that neuron, how it connects to another neuron, can be shorn, disrupted, torn. The way I like to describe it inside of the clinic is thinking about a bundle of grass or hay, which can be very, very strong, but if twisted the right way, there's certain bits that can separate or shear from the rest. Now, if we're talking about the thousands and thousands of neurons inside of the brain, we know that for a concussive-like impact, shearing or a lot of damage doesn't happen to all of them. But there is enough force to cause disruption of the things that neurons do when this force is applied. That includes how one neuron communicates to the next, but it also leads to changes in the different ions that allow those neurons to stay healthy, and specifically how they receive blood flow, which is how neurons get glucose and oxygen and other things that are necessary for them to survive, heal for the concussion, and then thrive afterwards. Now, if we consider point zero as the time when the impact occurred, changes can, in the brain can occur over the course of a couple minutes, hours, two days, even up to 10 days after the impact, you can see changes in how the brain is working. Now, of specific concern is what happens when those changes never fully resolve. As we see here at Cognitive FX, the immediate implications of that concussion can last days, months, to even years. At that point, many patients meet the criteria for post-concussion syndrome. Now, post-concussion syndrome is basically where all those changes that happened in the early part of the concussion led to where those cells of the brain, those neurons, are still not getting appropriate response of the blood flow or vasculature. Now, here's the good news. Post-concussion syndrome, or when someone has chronic symptoms from the acute concussion lasting months to years, is treatable. All you need to do is use the appropriate imaging and treatment to identify where are these issues still in the brain and what kind of therapies are needed to address them. Thank you for watching. There's a link in the description below if you want more information.